All right, guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about what do you do after you've passed all three parts of the special enrollment examination. So welcome. Quick introduction. If you're new to me, my name is Krista Tyus. I teach tax and accounting professionals how to get more clients utilizing Facebook and social media and scale to multiple six figures with their virtual firm. So if you want help scaling or starting or growing your business, go ahead and click on the resources below. I would love to work with you in our year long program. All right. So let's talk about well, what do you do after you pass all three parts of the special enrollment examination? So what I'm going to do is share my screen with you guys. So what I am on is the IRS.gov website and I'm under become an enrolled agent. So you do need your P10. So by now you should have already gotten that. You've already scheduled and passed all of your exams. And now you actually need to apply for enrollment. Okay. Now you're going to do that by paying on pay.gov and you're going to file form 23. So when we go to this link, it's actually just going to walk you through all of the information, all of this five-step process. So let's actually preview this form first. So this is what it's going to look like, but it's going to walk you through this form online. So it's going to ask you for your social security number, your date of birth, your full legal name, your current address, your email address, your telephone number, your P10. And then if you do have an employer identification number, which is the EIN, you're going to go ahead and list your business names and addresses below. This is not applicable if you're not incorporated or if you don't have an EIN. If you do have a CAF number, you're going to go ahead and put that here and you're going to continue to answer all of these questions, right? If you're a CPA or if you're an attorney, you're going to go ahead and put your credentials right there. You're going to sign and date this form and send it over to the Internal Revenue Service. Now, they do ask you some very specific questions. And again, they're going to ask you all these questions when you, you know, complete this form electronically. For some of the questions that they ask is, are you current with your individual and business taxes, including any corporate and employment tax obligations? Have you ever been sanctioned by a federal or state licensing authority? Has any application you filed with a court, government, department, commission, or agency for admission to practice been denied? Have you ever been convicted of a tax crime or any felony? And have you ever been permanently enjoined from preparing tax returns or representing others before the IRS? You should be able to say no to all of these questions, hopefully. And then once you fill out all this information, you sign electronically, again, you will need to pay a fee. So the fee is $67 and it's non-refundable. So you're going to pass all three parts. You're going to make sure that you have your P10, recircular 230, fill out this form and pay your $67. Now, the IRS is going to go through their due diligence check. And with that, typically, you know, they state on their website that it can take upwards to 45 days for them to do a due diligence check on you. So this is what they call passing a suitability check. So they're going to make sure that, you know, you're in compliance with your own tax obligations, that you filed all of your necessary tax returns, and that you don't have any outstanding tax liabilities or criminal background. Now, I do get a common question where people say, well, you know, I owe the IRS, is that going to prevent me from becoming an EA? Not necessarily. If you are on a payment plan with the Internal Revenue Service and you are in good standing with that payment plan, then you should be okay. Okay. But they are going to background check you. They are going to look at all of the facts of your situation to make sure that you are a suitable candidate to become an enrolled agent. After about 45 to 60 days, you should receive your decision. And more than likely, you should be receiving a license, right? With the IRS, you should be receiving your enroll agent pocket card. So they do send that to you in the mail. So in the mail, you're either going to get your no decision, um, in which case you can see why they said no, that they weren't going to allow you to you know, approve your application at this time, or you're going to get your pocket card in the mail, which is going to be your little license card that you're going to carry that's going to have your name and your new enroll agent number on it. So I hope this video was helpful, guys, and I'm really excited to hear all of you, you know, becoming in a row agents and increasing your skills so that you can just be of better service to the many taxpayers out here in the country. All right, guys, if you have any questions about this video, go ahead and drop them below and I'll see you in the next training video. Oh, make sure you subscribe. I always forget to say that, but make sure that you subscribe, you like my content and share it out with friends or people, colleagues in the industry. All right, guys. Bye.